Hey, 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 and welcome to this CAD along. So today we are going to work a little bit with forms and with solids and how we can combine working with those two types of models. Again, I will not use any music in this video because you can ask for it. So I think that if you want to have some background music, just put on Spotify or Google Music or whatever you're using. And you can also speed it up. So down here in the YouTube player settings, you can also speed this up if it's a little bit too slow for you. But the whole goal here is not only to, to make like a lesson for you. I also want to show you how I'm thinking while I'm doing it. So it is a little bit of a longer video, but hopefully you'll see what kind of issues I face and how I solve those. Because I haven't done this before. Um, I'm pretty sure on how to do it but I'm determined that we are going to finish it. So that's that's how we'll get through this. With that said, what are we going to do today? Well, we have this part here. This is some sort of motor. Uh, looks like some sort of low voltage brushless DC 12 to 48 volt uh, right angle hollow bore. At least that's what it said on the menu. So I just downloaded this from the Autodesk menu. So I inserted here a manufacturing parts. You can do that if you want to do as well. So this is the motor that we have. It's a pretty cool looking design. I guess there are some power cables going out down here. Uh, we have some sort of system in here. So there's probably a motor and something geared inside here. Okay, so what I want to do today is to add some sort of construction here. Let's say that for some reason we just want to have an axle out this way and there should be some sort of motor thingy connector going on here. But on this side we want to have a cover or some sort of handle that is made of the form tools or the T-spine tools. So the way that I would attack this is that I just check out the scene. What do I have here? I have uh, a few parts. Everything is in a good order. We have one subcomponent of the bigger component. And inside of this we then have a few ones. There's another case. We have the gear head. And okay, well, that's cool. It's actually just the gear here that we want to work with. So I'm going to hide the other ones. Next step is that we go in here. And from this body, what I actually want to do is to, uh, yeah, create some sort of model out of this. So one of the first things I think we should do is that if we want to bolt some sort of cover on towards this gear house, we should probably create some sort of connecting plate. So let's just extrude this out as a new component. And we have more or less a base reference shape to uh, to start working from. We go like that. We have a new body. Let's see, where's that body? It's down here. We should make this a new component. And we can then hide the other components. So now we have this to work from. We should activate these components. So what I want to do with this is that I will make a uh, go to the patch work bench or workspace. This is a little bit different from the usual model space that we're in, uh, or if you're in the sheet metal and the rendering animations and so on. But in the patch, we can actually uh, start working a little bit with combining the, the surfaces to, together with T-spine um, NURB surfaces. So what we'll start off with is to create a patch. So it's under here, under patch. And I've just selected this outer boundary edge. And that will create, let's just go down here it will create one of these bodies, which is a little bit exciting. So this is a unstitched body. It's not a solid body. Uh, it's actually just a, a, a patch, really, or, or a face. So this is just a two-dimensional plane. But what we can do with this, and we'll just keep the other one here in the background for now, is that we can extrude this using the patch extrusion, which is here on the Create Extrude. We'll select this one, and now we're just uh, extruding the, the outer edges. So we'll do something like that. Actually, we don't need to uh, take the whole profile. I just want to take a few of these edges because I want to use symmetry and mirror mode so I don't have to work on everything. So let's do like that. Now we have, you can see here, we have a body with one, uh, and then there's seven. Uh, Edges, oh no, not edges, sorry, uh, patches in this one. Now the fun thing starts. We are going to go back to, because these are, are still uneditable. I mean, there's not much we can do. Kind of boring. There's just 2D faces, really. So we want to convert this into a freeform shape and then use some symmetry. And we should be able to start uh, working with this. All right, so I'm going to go back to the model workspace. I'm going to go create, a creative form. And then we are jumping into the sculpt mode. And in here, we actually, we don't want to start with a new model, which we usually do. We actually want to convert. 
So when we click on a convert tool, we can convert a B-rep face. So that's what we want to do. And now when we start selecting, you see here that we are starting to create these cool uh, uh, surfaces. Now, there are some areas which are a little bit tr troublesome. I don't know why it's doing like this. So I guess that we'll just have to add our own, which should be a fun thing to do. Just have to add our own uh, edges here. And I think that the easiest way here is to start off with one edge, um, maybe a little bit more on the rotational. So you see here that when we add details, we get curves that follow. You see here that we have a little bit of a mismatch. So the more we add we're, uh, in, in uh, the faces here, we could actually change this here to a curvature and then it will automatically adapt uh, to a certain deviation. So let's say that the deviation is 0 0.5 millimeters or even less. Okay, let's go with one millimeter just because of that. There we go. Now we have a lot of edges here. And the first thing I want to do is just remove the ones that are over our symmetry lines. We want to start with symmetry on that and this one. But first, we kind of have to solve this one here. So let's see, how can we do this? Well, we could, of course, create a cylinder. We'll go to uh, this angle. We should be able to snap out here on where the... There we go. There's the, the center point. And that's it. We now created our cylinder. Let's just add some of these, or maybe just remove, yeah. And we want to have that the same length as the other one. And also just one in, in height. There we go. Now we can start combining. So I actually want to remove everything that's not open, that we don't need. But we do want to match. Let's see, can we match those two? Target edge, this one here. Oops, not chain selected. <laughs> Just that one. That works. Super. The question is just now, how do we... Do we just... Oops, not delete. We want to match these ones here as well. Can we match those to there? Ah, there we go. So now we have the curvature that we needed. That's awesome. So one of the issues here that we are facing now is that we have a lot of different bodies that are not attached. So what we want to do is to use this tool called, ah, oh, here it is, it's called Merge Edge. So what we do here is that we select one edge and then we select the other edge down below. And when we click OK, we are now combining those. So now we have one full body up here. Then we wanna just repeat this. We'll select, go to the next one, select again, and we can work like this. You see now it's starting to get like a bigger form. And this is a great way to just make it a little bit easier for you. I guess we'll have to do some fixing down here later because we, when we welded this edge, we lost a little bit of the detail. So probably the same here again. Yeah, we're gonna have to go in and do some work down here later. But let's continue with welding the edges so we just end up with one form because then it's much easier to do a symmetry work. So there we go. Now we have one body of forms that we can then work with. So let's go ahead and make a... That should be this one, yeah. So this is the form that we are working from, but now I wanna go back and just add some sort of coordinate system in here. Uh, let's say a mid plane of this and this, great. Again, a mid-plane from that and that, great. Now if we move forward in the process, we'll go in and edit this one. Now we can create the symmetry that we wanted to do. Mirror duplicate, so this model, of course, the plane should be this one. There we go. And repeat, so this one, and the plane should be this one. Now you get it, now you see where we are going at. So, that means that what we need to do now is to start working with this one here. Again, you see when I select that one, I select all the other ones because we're working now with asymmetry. So I want to insert an edge, 0.5, that's easy to control. And then we'll, we'll do this at the other way as well, 0.5. And you should be able to, um, to start working here. Now we should be able to 
Start matching here a little bit. Still looks like we need a little bit more. Maybe that's fine. Yeah, I think that's fine. Let's go with that. Oh, that's weird. Something happened with the um, symmetry, I think. So let's just duplicate here again. All right, so from here, I want to make some sort of just like a cover. Um, so we'll just go ahead and maybe we'll shrink this a little bit. Okay, maybe we should continue out a little bit more. Let's just drag out a new one, holding down Alt, and the computer loads a little bit. And then we'll start to just scale this down. Maybe not too much because we have those, those circles out there. Should be able to do. So if we select one of these, I think there's. Isn't there like a command to um, flatten these ones? Okay, let's do like this. Let's create a new patch. So I want to match these to some sort of form. So we'll create a new plane from, from the origin here. Just drag it out towards. Let's say around here, and then I'm going to create a sketch on this plane, and we'll do a, uh, let's see, a rounded, let's do it like this. Something like that should be fine. Stop sketch, and I do want to go to the patch menu and create a patch from this, this part here. There we go. And we can then go into this body again. If we'll go in and we'll edit this one, edit the feature, we'll double click on the lines, we'll click match, and we'll match these edges here. Ooh, that's twisting a lot. That's interesting. Hmm. I'm pretty sure this issue has to do with the symmetries. So let me just back forward, uh, back forward. Let's just back ahead and remove the symmetry and try the same procedure again. It should work. It's just a bug, so uh, let's go ahead and do that. All right, so let's just back up a little bit because sometimes we are not doing everything as planned. And in this case, symmetry doesn't really want to work with uh, the kind of stuff that I want to do. Let's go into the bodies here again and let's just go in and edit this feature. So what we'll do is that we'll just remove the symmetry. So we'll clear symmetry on this one. And more or less just remove everything. I think that's the best way to move forward because we have this body. Let's just finish this. We do have, oh, we got some, some wild bodies around that I forgot to remove those two let's just go ahead and remove those so uh we did this sketch here let's move into this one and we'll split it into the shape that we were working with before as well and we'll create a new patch from that one okay we got a new body here let's hide the patches and the sketches and we'll go into this one we'll click edit feature now, my friends, we should be able to take this, match this towards this, this, and this. There we go. Ta-da! Everything is working great now. So symmetry screwed things up. Sorry about that. Oh, by the way, we don't need that. And we don't need that. It doesn't look as good as I was thinking, but maybe... <laughs> Slide this edge. Can we do that? Nah, that's probably not a good idea. But okay, let's finish the form. There we go. So now we should be able to mirror all of this. And to be honest, I do want to make some edits to this shape, I think. So let's just slide in an edge here. Insert an edge. Somewhere around there. And I actually want to try to move all of this slightly to let's say towards this direction i think that's gonna make everything look a little bit better and to be honest i wonder how can you slide an edge along uh i think we should be able to do that right 
I don't think there's a tool for like moving this. I would really like to move these edges down on the same uh, because they're still matched. Let's see here. What happens if I do like this? Click OK. Let's just try to move all of these down and see what happens. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure that's the right way, but OK. I think this in here, we need to remove some of these lines. I'm pretty sure we don't need the same precision. So let's delete those. And we ended up with a little bit cleaner model and it still match matches over here. Let's just remove this one as well. There we go. Cool. So that's good because what we have now here, again, let's just recap what we're actually doing here. We are making a surface towards these plates. We now have a, uh, or sorry, we're making a some sort of handle for, for this whole part. So what we can do now is that we'll have, let's see, not that body, we should, yeah, those are what we started off with. But this body here, we can actually go into the patch menu. We'll mirror this here. Create a mirror on this mirror plane. Good, good, good. And again, repeat mirror on those two and this plane. Ta-da, now we're getting here. Now, instead of working on this shape, I think we should create a new form. So let's do that. Let's create a form. Let's make it a cylinder. Let's start working from, from this plane. Let's say that we add, so we have 16 edges and two. There we go. Now we try to match this one here. Let's click OK. We can finish here. Unhide this one here so we see a little bit what we're doing. And then we'll go in and start to, oops, not thicken, but to edit this feature. So maybe we'll, we want to have this one, something like that. I was going to make a handle, but I'm not entirely sure what I am making right now. But it's probably fine, maybe. And we'll try to close this hole. Uh, let's leave fill hole. That looks super. And maybe we want to flatten everything here a little bit. Flatten. Something like that, direction fits. That looks super. Now we have our handle. Now, if I finish this form here, and I mean, this is the tricky part. Again, we don't have any thickness really. Uh, we could start working with that, but I think that the first thing we want to do is to, um, well, we can hide this solid body so you see what we actually have created. We, we created a lot of different forms. They are different bodies here. We don't need, yeah, we, we actually just have two bodies right now. So what we want to do is that we actually want to go back to the stitch, uh, sorry, to the patch menu and we'll stitch these ones here. So using the stitch tools, we can stitch two bodies. And you see here the green lines, uh, we got some reds down here. And that's because I didn't use a lot of um, the, um, divisions on the cylinders. So what we need to do here is that we'll increase the tolerance a little bit to something like that and we should be fine and when we click OK it's now stitched so now we have one single body but as you can see it's still in this orange shape so we don't have any solids actually we just have surfaces so the next step of course would be to hide this one start again creating a patch from this one inside and I think we can no, we cannot edit that. But let's just imagine that we could just close it off like this. But I mean, how fun is that? 
So we want to use, again, let's just repeat a few of the things with the form tool. Oops, we first need to, uh, yeah, yeah, that was not my intention. We need, first need to extrude this in the patch workspace. We'll extrude this patch. We'll create some sort of shape. We'll remove this one. And now we should be able to create a form. We'll go back to the utilities. We'll convert a B rep and we'll start working here. So you see some of the radios are not working as intended, which is really weird, but I think we're fine this far. Yeah, so we should be able to just mirror this as we did before. Let's go with one in height as well. There we go. And again, the next step that we did was that we took the merge edge. We select two of the overlapping edges. Edges? Edges? <laughs> edges? I don't know how to say that. We'll do like this. Repeat, merge here. Repeat, merge here. And if you were following along, we could, of course, just make a symmetry in the middle as well. But let's say that we have something that we need to cover with this cover. I was trying to be funny, but I'm not sure it went, went home. But now we have one body again. And we actually want to, let's see here, oops. I think that I, let's see here, if I take in this, this angle here, you see that I didn't leave a line on the symmetry line. So we actually have to insert an edge that is uh, minus 0 0.5. So it ends up being in the middle. The same goes here and minus 0 0.5. There we go. Now we can actually remove these ones that we are not going to use. And we'll have a, a, a line that we can do the symmetry on. Now, uh, there's not that much that we want to do here. Let's just try to uh, maybe move this in. Maybe we want to end up doing something like this. Doesn't need to be anything fancy. We just want to uh, create some sort of inside here. We'll finish this form. We'll go back to the patches. I want to create the symmetry of this one or mirror it. That body towards this plane, like so. And we can actually hide this one here again. And we'll do the same here that will take these two. But you see that the, the more, what's it called, the more brown side or, or this darker orange brown mustard color towards this one here. This is actually the outside and this is the inside. Now, if I uh, show this part again here, you see that we actually want to have this part being uh, in the other direction. Let me just hide here. So you see we have an outside here, but then we can have, a, can have an outside here as well. So we need to flip this and there's under the modify tool, reverse normal. I actually put it up here so it's a little bit faster to access and we'll just mirror those two. And you see now how we're starting to go somewhere and we're starting to have this finished shape. And we should actually be able to take those two, stitch them. We don't need to have a lot of margin here, like so. So we end up with one body and another body. And I think that we can actually create a patch in here. Yep, super. And we'll stitch this one, or sorry, these two. Stitch those as well. Okay, so um, what we now have is almost ready. We just need to to stitch like this here to create uh, some sort of like what's it called a, a, a model here and what we can do is that remember this first piece that I did the like the solid version of it at all if we go back here and we'll just hide these two parts we can actually remove this surface and when as soon as we do that we end up with um, with like this one here a uh, just like an open body that the other ones are as well and if we revisit those again you can see that we still do have a little bit of, of an issue we don't have any holes here so what we can do is that we'll remove the holes remove those and I think that we actually can I delete those no I cannot but I can click on the hole and I can patch it 
We'll do this for all of them. We will use the part that we had before and do the, uh, uh, the screw holes later. Just stick around and I'll show you, it's gonna be cool. Again, we can reverse the normal on all of these fours because they are on the wrong way. And now I should be able to save, <laughs> that's super important to do. But if we inspect this here now, which we, sh let's do it in this direction. You can see that we, um, we are working with not a solid because it will use the solid in, uh, show, show the solid in a different way, but we, oh, this is pretty thin. I'm not sure that would be approved by any <laughs> design engineer, but let's, let's just go ahead and with that anyway, with super thin over there. We can do the changes to it, of course. Let me just show you how to do that. So let's edit the features of this ones. Let's edit this one's feature, form, form feature. Let's just take this line here and we'll go ahead and push that forward. That should create a thicker shell. So when I save this, it's going to think a little bit and then update it. That's the beauty of parametric design and working the flow. Oops, not that one. Let's go here again. So let's just inspect here again to see the thickness. Now it's a much better thickness. We still have some weak points over here, but let's not worry about that today. But what you can see is that we don't have a solid. So again, if we look at the list here, we have a lot of different bodies that are not stitched. They are just loose bodies, but they shouldn't end up with a complete uh, solid model. So in the patch workspace, I've selected all the bodies and now comes the really beautiful part. We'll just click stitch. We'll have some uh, some margin to play with, but we don't need very much at all. Let's go down to 0.3 and see if that's enough. It should be enough. So we have three edges, 54, and all of, all of them are going to be stitched. So let's do that. And just make sure that you check out the left side of the menu now, because when I click here, ta-da, we ended up with a solid body. That is pretty sweet. Let's just save it here again. And before we're done, we need to take the old body that we had let's see where's that where did i hide that here we are let's go into this one here and we'll create a um we'll create a sketch from this one here like so and these cylinders are actually a little bit too big so i'm just gonna draw I should have made a symmetry here, but I'm just going to draw it freehand because we, we need to speed these things up. Let's click OK. And then I'll take all of those and I'll extrude. Check this out. So we are going to show this new body. We're going to extrude these ones. We are going to do a cut. So we're now cutting into these ones here. And you see we have actually cut into the new shape that we've done. And of course, as always, you know me, I really like to do the chamfers. I'm just going to do this here. We should go back and, oh, we should work with this component, sorry. There we go. Now we are in the correct components. I've selected them. Let's do a chamfer. Mm, one millimeter is good. Ta-da! And of course, the smart one of you have already realized that there's no way of, of creating like a, um, a bolt down here. But let's say that we don't need that. We can just create this one here because they are cool. Let's say that you need to tighten a bolt here. You would just create a cylinder up there. But anyways, that's not what we're going to do today. Um, we have actually created the part that I want to have. So all of these here trash parts, we can just keep them or remove if you want to. But this here is our handle and it's pretty fabulous. So let's go activate the big components. We can check everything out. So there you go. Now we've created a part that, there we go. You see all the screw holes are working through and it's beautiful. And also if we now capture position, we'll do an inspection. We can do that from, let's say, but okay, let's do it from here. So when we are expecting, inspecting, not expecting, we can see through here that we got solids, everything's in solids and different components. 
All the screw holes are good. We got some spacers here in between. And yeah, we have space for everything. The handle is pretty massive. We could probably do some optimization of weight in there, but who cares about that? So there you go. There you have it. We created our own plastic, kind of combining the solids and the forms. And I think it looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the results. So that's how we work together with the solid models. You work together with the patches and the uh, forms. We stitch them together and we work with different forms, different open bodies, and we'll just end up with a pretty cool shape. So the stitch tool is hugely beneficial. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this kind of video. Let me know what you think was weird, if I did any mistakes, anything that you would do different. Please comment down below so everyone else can, can figure things out. And with that said, just make sure you click the links down below, visit the Patreon page if you want to help me out with a coffee a month or something, that would be super nice. And I'll see you guys in the next catalog or in the next 3D video. Thanks for watching. Bye.